Timothy Wayne Shineman, my love. It was faith that has brought us here, and it is faith that will carry us forward. This day, I vow to always put God first in our lives, to honor and respect you as the head of our family, as you lead us by faith into all that God has for us. I vow to always love, cherish, and choose you each day in the good times and not so good times. I vow to always be quick to repent and quick to forgive, making unity with you my top priority. We are heirs together in Christ, and so I vow to walk in unity with you as your love, your helpmeet, and as your friend. The Bible says that one can put 1,000 to flight, but two can put 10,000 to flight. So together we stand and have the victory over any opposition that may try to come our way. There's so much ahead for us. I'm excited to embark on each faith endeavor with you, big or not so big. I vow to always be thankful for you, to support you, and to learn from you throughout this life. I vow to love your girls as my very own and to be a mother figure to them as they continue to grow. I will bring 100% to this marriage and this family. I honor you as my other self. I am grateful that you were God's pick for my life, the plan of God from the foundation of the world. I value that highly and will choose God's plan each day. From now and this day forth, I vow to be your hundredfold wife. I love you with all of my heart. Vanessa Renee Shepherd, beloved and most precious treasure, for the glory of God the Father, through Jesus Christ, I make this covenant of marriage with you. As Christ loved the church, I vow to love you all my life, to sacrifice all my self-centered thoughts and desires to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, you and our family. I vow to lead and to guide you and our family as Christ does the church, building you up in love cleansing you with the washing of water by the word, that you may be presented radiant, without spot or blemish, before Jesus. I vow to take up the whole armor of God, praying always, being watchful, that our family may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. I vow to make intercession for you and our family all my life, as Christ, the great high priest, does for the church. I vow to give myself to providing for you and our family through his guidance and enablement. Above all, I vow to love you with joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, being quick to forgive and endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. I surrender my life, holding nothing back, that we may have one heart, one mind, and one voice to fulfill his plan for our life ever honoring God's guidance by His Spirit through the Word. God has an amazing plan for our life, and I'm excited to step into the next phase of this faith journey with you. I love you with all my heart. I put my faith and trust in Him, who is able to keep us from stumbling, and to present us faultless before the presence of His glory with exceeding joy. To God our Savior, who alone is wise, in glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. A number of years ago, Vanessa got it in her heart that uh, Tim would be the right one. And uh, let's just put it this way, she was dating Tim before Tim was dating her. <laughs> but we love you both dearly, we're so happy for you, and uh, my wife and I you know, rejoice with you. We're with you all the way, we're excited what God has for you. And uh, we believe the best is the head.
we love these guys and it's it we really were looking forward to this day and um, we appreciate how it's gone with brought each one in and we we watched and if what god has done in the lives of those in our church and it's just uh, such a blessing and if the, we look forward to seeing you grow together Tim is a very honorable man. Vanessa is very honorable. So that, you know, if they're, just, if they're our spiritual son and daughter, we love them dearly. And uh, thanks for finally giving it. Lend us have this day. If you have we love you guys. I was working with them, setting up, here and now. And so they asked them, small little praise. And I said, so you'll let her get away? Tim comes up and goes, I didn't, get away. didn't let her get away. <laughs> and the rest is history. They're a great product. You can tell how much you love your girls. The love that you have for them, I know is just an extension of the love you have for my sister. You are getting a priceless treasure who is worth more than rupees and is more precious than gold. You can't find anyone who's more art organized, stalwart, capable, and adaptable, and strong. Vanessa, today you're not only becoming a wife, but you're becoming a lover. So for your last name, S, they're stronger together. H, help hates forever. I, imagine big things. N, notice all the small things. N, know each other's strengths. E, encourage each other. M, make time, make money, make whatever you want. <laughs> A, ask a lot of questions. N, there's nothing that can separate you from the love of God. But it's been a long, wonderful journey to just be on and to watch the growth of God working in both of their faiths. Him on the side of not knowing and God bringing the revelation to him that, hey, I have somebody for you. And just God setting that up and, and putting the pieces together. You know, it takes a while as Pastor was reaching, you know, a box of puzzle pieces poured out and it's not together. It's just there. And you got all these components and different pieces and God just took each one and began to line them up. And this is the baby. Nessa calls me and shares with me that hey dad, I found my wedding dress. And so she sends me pictures and shows me pictures of the wedding dress. Next week later or a few months later, whatever, hey dad, can I have these decorations? And then she sends me the picture and all that. And the groom's gonna be wearing this. So now I'm sharing some thoughts with people I know and friends who come here and that's it, picked out our wedding dress or whatever. And so who's the lucky man? She didn't have one yet. <laughs> it's just, just then, watching her faith grow, watching her hope and anticipation, her steadfastness and perseverance for the one that she knew that she loved and had been given to her. And then coming back and being able to talk to Tim after finding out that well, he came to us, to Linda, and I said, hey, I like the daughter, can we start courting? And after giving him the approval, knowing that uh, this day would come, uh, we've had several talks and conversations together, he and I, 